All right, guys, Redneck MP7. All right, you guys remember our uh, Keltec CP33 video. Uh, we had really no accessories on that particular uh, gun, but man, the accuracy, very, very good. Uh, today, we're gonna be breaking into this. I got some cool accessories to show you. Really cool piece of hardware here. Let's have some fun. All right, 22, baby, let's do it. Heck yeah. All right, guys, welcome back. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. All right, you guys remember our CP33 video. Uh, we're revisiting that with a couple of accessories. Uh, Ferrotech makes this really cool Gen 2 tail hook brace adapter. Very, very lightweight, very non-obtrusive. Carbon fiber, super, super light and uh, handy. And of course, you've got your collapsible brace, which is really great. And this is a pistol. This is not a short barreled rifle. Um, you just pull it to deploy it. And of course, you got your strap there to you know hook it to your arm or whatever. We've got a Trigicon RMR and an upper third type uh, riser so that we can clear our Enforce single cell <laughs> flashlight. We've got a KG made Swarm 22 there on the end of the uh, pistol. This is the Ferrotech. Um, this one is actually a prototype. This one's 3D printed, but this is a, a prototype of their hand stop uh, angled foregrip uh, for the CP33. You can see it follows the contours uh, of the receiver in action. Really, really cool little setup, extremely lightweight. This thing is well under three pounds. I can't think of many 22s that you're gonna come across that with a suppressor, flashlight, optic, and then your brace added, even with the magazine loaded, you're talking the entire rig is well south of, of three pounds. So super, super lightweight setup. Uh, the ammo that we were running there in the intro th from our 33 round magazine was some of the CCI Clean 22. This is um, 45 grain target ammo running at 1,000 feet per second. It's the stuff that they're, uh, you know, got in these little milk jugs. Don't drink it. Wouldn't recommend that. All right, this is a combination of American Eagle suppressor ammo, which is basically the same exact uh, load, more or less. It is running a little bit slower. Uh, the advertised velocity is 970, and this is a non-coated uh, projectile. I really prefer the Clean 22 suppressor ammo because it's a coated bullet, and you don't have to worry quite as much about lead buildup in your suppressor. So I'm gonna try to definitely run most of this in the future. Um, one thing I'll mention about the CP33 is uh, these guns, you have to load the magazine exactly correctly. It has to be loaded just so or it's gonna have a, a you know, feeding issue, I've noticed. But then two, you also have to keep the gun extremely clean and perfectly lubricated in just the right way in order for it to run with 100% reliability. But I'll tell you, um, this gun, even out to like 50 yards, is extremely accurate. And the trigger on this gun is phenomenal. Uh, if you watch our CP33 video, you see uh, that we were getting some outstanding accuracy out of this thing, even without a brace. But man, you add a brace and that uh, just really brings that uh, home full circle. All right, so let's see if, uh, <laughs> if the gun gods are with us. And our, yep, see, remember before we had our, our issue where the first round sometimes wouldn't want to go in. You have to kind of give it a little bit of extra um, movement there. Let's see if this mag will work here. This is just such a cute little setup, man. Real accurate, super lightweight. Get down! <laughs> All out. Very cool. <laughs> All right, we're going to pause for a moment, and what I'm going to do is, is load these magazines because they take forever to load. And I'm just going to very quickly show you. I'm not going to load them on film, but I do want to show you the, the method that I have found for loading these mags that is the absolute correct method. Um, I'm not saying that the description Keltec gives you isn't correct, because it is, but it's just sort of like a little mini hack that I came up with. Uh, what you wanna do when you're loading the CP33 magazines, I've only got two of them, I'll just show you the technique. Um, start the cartridge in, 
in the little window that it gives you, push down and to the rear, all right? But don't assume that that's far enough. You need to take the next cartridge and carefully use the rim to seat the projectile. See how it moved that tiny little bit right there? And then start again, go, go in with the next one, leave it cheated into the little feed ramp that's in the magazine, take the next cartridge, push in against the nose, nice and tight, push back, you can feel it seat. All right, same thing, next round, take the round above it, push in, nice and tight, same thing, and then continue until the magazine is loaded. That, that I found is the proper technique for loading these magazines. And I've also found that with the CP33, you wanna to stick to some type of a plated bullet, or, or like in this case, this coated bullet, it does much better because that lead residue, if it's an open um, or, you know, a lead round nose bullet or whatever, it's going to shear off little bits of lead in the feed ramp and it's going to get little bits of chunks of lead in the, in the magazine and it'll just cause them to not operate properly uh, over time and it'll start to gunk up the action. I mean, the fit between the bolt and the receiver on the CP33 is actually pretty well fit. Like, it's not a sloppy fit gun. It's, it's pretty precision fit, so you've got to keep it clean and you want to use some type of a plated projectile. All right, so let me finish loading my mags. We'll shoot this guy a little bit more for you here. All right, took me about a million minutes to load the magazines, <laughs> but got them loaded. And they should have a very distinctive staggered uh, pattern in terms of the way the, the rounds have to sit in the mag a very specific way. So let's see if I'm right or if I'm wrong here. Give it a shot. All right, this is such a cool little setup, man. It really is. Yeah, there's the thing again where that bolt just has to get that first round to overcome there. All right, let's have a little fun here. <laughs> All right. Dude, this thing is just stupid fun to shoot. Of course, we had a stoppage here. That was odd. We had a uh, failure to feed there. All right. Very cool. All right. You know, this gun is a lot of fun to shoot, and um, just as a range toy and everything, it is, it's just impossible to find a cooler gun to play with. If you've got somebody that is sensitive to recoil, or maybe they can't hold up a really heavy, you know, pistol or rifle, this is a great way to get somebody into something like that. I will say the reliability has been a little bit less than stellar, you know, even with loading the, the magazines just right. See there? Failure to feed again. And again, just like the previous video, nothing's changed there. You just have to give it that kind of, you know, final bump home to get that first round to get into the chamber. But anyway, um, let's shoot it and see if we can get through this mag, no problem. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous, you know. I just want to show off the accessories because that's something really unique here for the uh, CP33. Um, I really like this platform, you know, despite its minor shortcomings in terms of reliability and with the spotty nature of loading the magazines. Despite those, those facts, I still do like uh, the pistol a lot. It's a really cool setup. I definitely want to take a moment to thank the folks at Big Daddy Unlimited uh, for helping us out with supply. Uh, flashlight, optic, things like that. And the guys from Ferrotech, thank you very much for getting us the brace here to uh, check out on the Keltec. Uh, check out Big Daddy. They got some great deals, great group of people, and uh, we appreciate them supporting the channel. And we also appreciate you guys who support us every single day, uh, our Patreon supporters, folks who purchase t-shirts on the website, and you also support your favorite content creators. You know, if you support us through purchasing man cans, we got lots of great hand-selected gear that we put together just for you guys. So thank you all very much. We really appreciate the support. And uh, we just wanted this to be kind of a quick second look at the CP33. Uh, the gun might have its minor teething issues. However, stay tuned because we have a video coming up on the P17. I think you guys are gonna be ridiculously surprised at how stupid reliable that gun has been for us. 
Hopefully I'm not stepping on my words though. I mean, we've got a couple of shooters that have been uh, running the P-17 and they absolutely love it. So you'll see our video on that uh, gun coming up soon too as well. So have a great day. Thank you for watching. All right, this is the Redneck MP7. I don't know, I have to say, pretty cool. Have a good one guys. See you next time.